it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. We have a few people to welcome to the community, so let's get started. Slevin's 92 YouTuber, welcome to the neighborhood. Elizabeth Childs, welcome to the neighborhood. Vera Buen, welcome to the neighborhood. And Bonnie Parkin, welcome to the neighborhood. If I said any of your names wrong, I am so sorry. Please forgive me and correct me and I will fix that next week. If I've already welcomed you, welcome again. And if I missed anybody, please let me know and I will be happy to add you to the list for next week. Okay, Jerry Colburn, welcome back, girl. We definitely missed you. She took a little vacation because you know what, guys? She hasn't been sick in two whole months. Since they redid her room, she's been so healthy. Always glad to hear that. Congratulations, Jerry, and welcome back. Jess Lucero and his wife, happy 12th year anniversary to you guys. Time for some thoughts and prayers, and of course, you know, we are always going to start out with my dad, the Lone Wolf, Fred. Thoughts and prayers for an easy, peaceful transition for him. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to my great nephew who went through a 14-hour surgery on Monday. All went well with that, but if we could please keep him and the family in our thoughts and prayers, I would greatly appreciate that as well. Thoughts and prayers for Drax Shadow, Elijah Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80. You guys all know who that is. And please always keep them in your thoughts and prayers as well. Also, One Proud Mama 77, April and Haley. If you can always keep them in your thoughts and prayers as well. They are all very special people to Kevin and I and to the neighborhood community. And we always love to send out our thoughts and prayers for them and show them our love and support. Uh, Gothman the Soul Keeper, thoughts and prayers go out for his mother's co-worker, Lynn, whose mother and father passed away, Shirley and Robert. So thoughts and prayers for Lynn and her entire family and the loss of her mother and father. Uh, Alicia Kerr lost her cousin three months ago and two weeks before that lost her uncle. So very sorry to hear about all that loss. No one should have to go through that. And very, very sorry. Thoughts and prayers go out to Orlando for the three tragedies that they've endured um, recently. The first one, the shooting of the voice singer Christina Grimey. Um, Grimmy, very, very sad situation. Our thoughts and prayers go out to her family, her friends, and the, all of her fans, and the, uh, the voice as well. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to the family of the two-year-old boy, Lane Graves, who was snatched up and dragged into the water and drowned by an alligator. Um, at Disney World's Grand Floridan Resort Spa. So thoughts and prayers go out to Lane Graves' family and um, horrible, horrible thing to have happened. So sorry. And of course, thoughts and prayers go out to all the family members and victims of the tragedy at the Orlando nightclub. Um, our thoughts and prayers go out to each and every single one of you. Um, just horrible things that go on in this world and that should not have happened. So thoughts and prayers go out to each and every one of you. <sighs> so with all that being said, Kevin, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Take it away, Kevin. Okay, so last week I asked a question about the movie Graduation Day 1981. And the question was, who was the blonde woman in the 46 jersey? And why is she only in the beginning and the very end? And uh, the answer is, I have no idea. I couldn't find anything either. I'm kind of hoping you guys would figure it out. 
I, she is not listed uh, on the IMDB. She's not listed anywhere that I could find. She's not even listed as a uncredited in the IMDB. So I don't know who she is. It'd be great to find out because she had lines. And I don't even think that you can get away with uh, having somebody in a movie and, and not give her any credit unless she insisted on not being credited. So that's the answer. And those who uh, got, came to the same conclusion as me it was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and the Abyss 92882. All right, so today's question has to do with a movie from the same year uh, to one of those summer uh, summer camp movies, which there was a ton of them after uh, Friday the 13th. This one was called The Burning, 1981. And it had some interesting people in it. It had um, um, Jason Alexander in it, and he has hair. And um, it also has Holly Hunter in it. It's probably her first movie. Um, and the question is, what is this story based on? It's actually based on a legend on the East Coast, New Jersey, um, uh, uh, New York, that area. So let me know. And if you find out anything about uh, Jersey 46 Girl, let me know as well. Hey, I almost forgot. A big shout out to Kelly from A It's Kelly. Would love to hear you play that saxophone. See you next time. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you all so very, very much. Please check out all of our other stuff. Some of you may not know this, but we do have a paranormal investigation channel. Go by and check that out. And we will see all of you guys next week on another episode of Neighborhood Community Show!